Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, all of you. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi there. Welcome, hey, good evening, everyone. Teacher. Hi, hi. Hey, how is everything today? How's everything? How are you? How's your Monday going? Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good, good, good evening. Sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm driving. I'm driving well, to, you... to a meeting for the work. At, and because um, uh, I will going, I will to listener uh, I will today. be I will be as a listener I will be as a listener okay all right it's okay it's okay don't worry all right thank you at least for letting me know yes <laughs> and he got confused with the morning it's okay it happens it happens sometimes yes what about the rest how is everything guys how is Monday treating you how is Monday going just another manic manic Monday, teacher. Another what? Another manic Monday. All right, all right. Well, how was it? Tell me. How, how did it go with you? Well, first of all, the first in the morning, um, all the all the computers from the cells are, were not working. Uh, they were not uh, connected to the main server. So, so every single store was unable to do the the opening. So practically we were running, trying to relaunch the system. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So it, was kind of, it was kind of busy, huh? Yeah, that was until 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. After that, it was chill. All right, all right, that's good. That's good to know, good to hear. Excellent. Uh, teacher, one, one, one thing. I don't yeah. know if, if I can uh, stay at the uh, at the end of the class because uh, I want to check some some issues from the from the tasks in the platform. Yeah, you can stay. Uh, let me see. There are there's one another person. Fabricio wants to stay too. Don't worry. You you both can stay. Oh okay. Yes, you both can stay. Not a problem. I can help you both. Both. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. But Emerson, how are you? How do you feel? Well, after the big morning today, I was I feel a little calm, a little chill. I already uh, take dinner, ready for start the class, and well, uh, doing a little review because uh, Friday I was uh, I wasn't there in class for some uh, issue in the family, but everything. Fine at the end. Uh, All right, that's, that's good to hear. I'm happy to, to hear that. Glad to hear it, I guess. All right, well, welcome. Thank you for being here. It's awesome to have you here. Okay. What about you, Magdil? How is everything? How are you? How is Monday going? Or how is Monday wrapping up? Hello, teacher. Everything is okay, and I'm ready for today. You okay? Happy? Good? It was okay. It was happy. About how how did you feel? Um, I feel okay. I I I was a normal day. All right, that's good. That's good. Good to know. Did you do Did you do anything interesting during the weekend? 
I went to the downtown San Salvador. All right. All right. That's that. Park, uh, um, Plaza Morazan. With your family? Yes, with my family. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's but awesome. uh, many, many streets are closed because Why? of the construction of the. How do you say biblioteca? The library? Uh -huh, yes. Library. The library. Yeah. Oh, really? On, on Sunday? The library. Yeah. On Sunday? On Sunday, there are uh, a street yeah. next, to the, next to the park. Mm -hmm. It is closed. All right, all right, I understand then. Because of the construction. Yes, yes, sure. Yeah. Right, okay. All right, well, uh, I'm glad that you went out with your family. That's that's a good thing that you did You did go out with your family. Bad that you, you got, uh, you ran into these uh, this, uh, uh, block streets. Well, I'm glad that you went out with your family. That's something really good. Yes, it's good to, to go out with family. Yes, yes. All right, all right. Hey, Mauricio, hello, Mauricio. How are you, Mauricio? How's everything? What about you? How's, I, Monday? Well, How's Monday going? Well, today is my race day, but um, I had a busy day because I went to the bank um, to, to change a check. And mm -hmm. after that, uh, um. I'm trying to do other things in my house, and only that. But uh, I'm I'm I feel good because tomorrow I'm going to travel to my mother, my grandmother house. Um, I never had the opportunity to to visit it, uh, for ten years, for guns. Yes. Ten years. Uh, see, yes, for for guns. Yes. 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 Uh, well, nowadays, thanks. Um, naive. <laughs> yeah. Like naive. I had the opportunity, and I tried to travel one one week. Uh, no, one day a uh, a month, cause you know I try to 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 recover the time. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Well, I'm glad and, that you're gonna. I'm yeah. glad you're gonna visit her. That's good. Take yes, her some. Good. Take take her some flowers, some to eat, some fruit. Oh, probably. Yeah, but. Yeah, yes. they 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 don't don't have don't don't need that because they live in the in the forest, uh, mm -hmm. literally, in oh, right. Japan. I'm going to drive for two hours to go, and when I, uh, when when I get to my house, another two hours, as well. Wow, all right. Yes, a lot of time. So they live in the forest. <laughs> yes, correct. Yes. That's that's okay. That's okay. Yes. Well, I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you're going there. You're gonna enjoy time mm -hmm. with, with them. What with probably, with, yes. probably tomorrow. I don't know, but uh, I, I'm going. To, uh, I'm I'm trying to to arrive early, but if not, um, I don't know if I'm going to connect as a listener. But right. yes, or 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 not have connection because for the, what do you say? Uh, uh, police stops. The what? Uh, like tennis. Checkpoints. I uh, had checkpoint checkpoints, but uh, I'm going to try to to arrive early in my house. But uh, if I don't have time, I'm going to 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 connect until uh, on then Thursday. All right. Okay. Thanks. Just let me know. Let me know. All right. Let okay. me know what's going on, and and I will understand. Yes. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Eric, hello, Eric. What about you? How's everything? Welcome to the class or to the session. Hello. I'm here in the house. How's Monday going? So far, so good. So far, so good. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Tedious? Stressing? What can you say? A little stressing, but... I achieved all my 
I, my target on my job and mm -hmm. it made me feel happy at the moment because tomorrow and uh, I will start with a counting to November and the, the month goes very very fast. Yes, yes. You're right, you're That's right. That's why I I need to um I need to enjoy all my all my week and try to uh, develop all my taxes in a few time. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Well, I'm glad that you are here, Eric. Thank you for, for showing up, for joining. It's good to have you here again. Okay. Well, okay. Thanks. And Eric is right. Like, November is flying. You know, time is flying. There is no way to stop time. It's November 13th today. Just think about that. It's almost, we're almost in the middle of the month. Yes. Two more days and we're going to be there. Jeez, man. It's it's going really fast. I cannot believe how, how fast time is going. This is really, really fast. It is surprising, yes. Well, the good thing of, of for me is I'm gonna have vacation soon. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. What's uh, Rafael? Hello, how are you, Rafael? We didn't see you on Friday. What happened? He's not available. Yes, he's there. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Yeah, good evening. I'm fine. Thank you for asking, teacher. Uh, on, on Friday, I had eating the issues, so I was not able to connect to the class. What What did you have? Sorry, eating the issues. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's okay. That's okay. It's something that we cannot control. It's just it gets out of hand. We cannot really uh, uh, get connection when there's no connection when there's no signal. There's nothing we can do about it. Yes. It's just understandable. I'm glad that you're here, Rafael. Welcome again. Good to see you. Good to have you here. All right. Let me see. Katya, what about you? How's everything, Katya? Hi, teacher. I think uh, that I'm fine. You? I'm fine, but so tired <laughs> about I, life. Why? Why are you tired? The traffic, the work. It's Monday. <laughs> the weekend. Was, I think um, it's Monday. You have to be very, very energy. motivated. <laughs> no. Very energetic. <laughs> Sorry. No. No. I don't okay. think so. Because the season is Christmas season. So I remember when I was in the school and yes. it is nostalgic. And the way that I, I rest <laughs> and now I can do the, the same. <laughs> That is uh, not, we're not in Christmas season right now. Yeah, it's Christmas season, but uh, I don't, I can't rest. <laughs> no, it is not. No. We're in November. No, yeah, but I feel I that it's, it's... We are in the it, black season. We're in the black season. Oh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, the, the creation... Uh, okay, but yeah. I think that is Christmas season. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, so, I'm glad that you're. I'm glad that you're here, Katia. Thank you for showing up for for joining. Thank you. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent. Marilyn, how are you, Marilyn? How is everything with your knee? How is your Monday going? Uh, so, are you tired? Because uh, today I went to work and and I walk all day. Wow. Yeah. But did, did you go back to work today? So I walk in the job because and I was to um, um, archivando. 
filing? Yeah, a lot of documents since uh, um, 2000. Wow. Yeah. So it was a very, a very difficult moment for you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm fine, but I I am a little tired. You feel a little tired. All right, all right. And how's your knee? So, in fact, in, um, tomorrow I will uh, I will go at a Seguro Social. Yes. Because then I, they give uh, a request about the, the surgery. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. And good luck with the surgery. It's going to be a very long process, but I think it will be worth it, and I wish you the best. Yes. Yeah. And good luck, and good luck tomorrow with the, with the, with the East Thank people. You, I know when you, you're going to, to this place, to this, uh, the, the, the insurance company, you're going to spend the whole day there. I'm sorry, but it is true. If you're going to the insurance company, you can get there at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m., but it's a sure thing that you're going to be there until 4 p.m. or 3 p.m., yes, the whole day. Because they take a long time <laughs> there like that, yes. All right. Stephanie, hello, Stephanie. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm good. Thank you. How's your Monday going? Well, how's your Monday wrapping up? Um, it was a calm Monday. I have, well, not too much work. Mm -hmm. And it was a good day. <laughs> it was a good day. All right. Yes. Well, I think, I think from all of you, from all of you, I think I am the one who is who's having just a very easy uh, or chilling time at work because I'm not doing anything at work right now. I'm just going there. I'm sitting in this chair, falling asleep like this, yes, and doing nothing. Honestly, nothing. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who's doing that, yes. It is boring. All right, thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for uh, letting me know what's going on with your lives. I'm glad that you're you're okay. Your Monday went okay, and uh, well, everything is just going as normal. <laughs> All right, let me take attendance, and uh, there is there are a few things that we need to do. Diego, Josué, Anita Leiva is not here. Elizabeth, Stephanie, Vasquez, Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. All right. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present. Thank Present, you. teacher. I am Emerson. Yes, yes. Ulysses Amilet Villalta Villalta. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, thank you for being here. Uh, Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Mauricio Tobar Ramos is not here right now. Luis Javier Castillo is driving, he's going to a club meeting. All right, but he's here. Magdiel Esau Garcia Morales. Present. Thank you, Magdiel. This person, no. All right. Yes, thank you, Magdiel. Thank you, thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Serrano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl here. Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. And the last one has never been here. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you guys for joining. Once again, it's Monday. Uh, today is our 10th 
class or our 10th session, yes. And I got some news today from administration. Uh, thank you, Mario, excellent, thank you, thank you. And I got some news from administration today and they told me that we, we're gonna be working on section, let me show it to you, that way you understand it better. Let me, some kind of noise going around. Let me see if it is true. Okay, let me show this to you. It hasn't load what it has now. Let me know if you if you can see it. Let me know, let me know. Yes. Wow, you said I have quite a burning throat, nasal congestion, uh, even with a cough, think about getting out of this limit. All right, I'm sorry that you're going through that, Mario. Hope you get better, take some medicine and rest. All right, very good. Uh, well, I told you at the beginning that we're going to cover uh, every section with every week or along with every week. For example, in the first week, we were supposed to finish or have finished the session number one or year number one, e-commerce. We did that already. Thank you for doing it. And on the week two, we are going to work or we were because we are ending the second week today. So on the week two, we were supposed to finish unit number two and the midterm exam, yes. But like I say, I got some news today and the news are that we will have to continue working on section number two for this, this coming week, I mean week three, which we start tomorrow. So from tomorrow on, from tomorrow, Tuesday, to next week, Monday, we will continue working on section number two and also the midterm exam. And on the week four, which will be next week, Tuesday, we're gonna start section number three. And in the last week, we're gonna do a section number four, all right? And I was checking the platform uh, on Saturday and there are many of you that have not done the activities on section number two or unit number two. And that is fine. It's okay. Because we have one more week. All right. So again, today we end or we are ending the second week. Tomorrow, from tomorrow until next week, Monday, we're going to be doing or dealing with this, uh, the week number three. So for week number three, we are going to work or continue working with section number two. All right. Now, section number three, if you want to continue working or if you want to like move ahead with the activities, you can work on section number three, not a problem. But if you want to wait, it's okay. You can wait until next week to start with section number three. All right? Yes. Very good. I just wanted to let you know about that. That was told to us today. Yes, they told us about it, yes. Okay, very good. Let's see what we can do with the today's topic. Okay, here we go. Look, it's uh, day number 10 or session number 10 or class number 10. It's Monday, people. It's the best day of the week. <laughs> All right. 
And uh, there is one thing, there is one thing that we need to cover right now, and that is something that we're gonna cover from the book. Yes, let me uh, show you what we're gonna cover from the book right now. Yes. I haven't even opened it. No, not this one. Let me share it with you. We're going to be discussing a couple of questions for a few minutes. Then we're going to practice a conversation. And after that, we're going to deal with a grammar topic that is pending from last week. All right, here we go. So we continue with unit number two, which is about issues. Issues, well, e-shopping issues. It says right here, I will be able to identify issues and tips rela related to hidden charges and delivery issues when shopping online. Let me read it again. I will be able to identify issues and tips related to hidden charges and delivery issues when shopping online. Okay, so at the end, we're gonna be able to do this. Two questions. How often do you buy products online? Second question. How expensive are shipping costs in your country? We have already answered the first question because I think we did it a couple of days ago. Uh, but let's work on it again. Guys, how often do you buy products online? Tell me. How often do you do it? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Diego. Good evening. Um, like one, uh, one times ago? In in month, sorry. Okay, once a month, one time a month. Yes. yes. You can say one time a month or once a month. All right. Thank thank you, Diego, for answering the question. Who else? Who else? How often do you buy things online? Tell me. Guys, how often do you buy things online? Well, if you ask me, I buy, I usually buy things online probably two <clears throat> times, uh, one or two times in a month. Okay, where, one where or are two things times related in a month. Food. I'm sorry? Uh, one or two times uh, things related to food. All right. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yes. Still, that's that's shopping online. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. All right. Who else? Who else? Yeah, I did you. Yes. Tell me. Uh, I import products every month since I bring products from China to sell here. And right. also, I bring orders uh, for uh, other people. Uh, All right. Orders. So you, 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 well, you told me you heard, I heard that you bring products from China to sell them here. That's, is that your business or, I mean, beside your job? Uh, no. Uh, this is a, a business apart from my, my yes. job. All right. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. That's excellent. Awesome. All right. Who else? How often do you buy things online? Guys, tell me, tell me, how often do you buy things online? Well, nowadays, because I don't have enough time to... Uh to spend and go to the mall or something like that. Mm -hmm. I probably buy 
um, a cell phone or, for example, the the computer that I need to 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 get for for the classes, I bought online around three months ago, mm -hmm. and yes, I usually buy a lot of things online. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Thank you for letting me know, for telling me. And uh, people, let's discuss the second question. And it says, how expensive are shipping costs in your country? Let's talk about shipping in El Salvador. What's the, what's the average cost, people? Do you know? What is the average cost? The shipping is like delivery. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, I think that is around three dollars or or two dollars if you want to receive the 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 product when you're in your in your job. But if you have a special request like uh, your house is different, it could be changed five dollars or. It depends of their deliver. All right, all right. I understand. I understand. Okay. Do we have more opinions besides Mauricio's opinion? Thank you, Mauricio, for sharing your opinion. Anyone else? What's the average cost? Over average cost, or how expensive is the shipping in El Salvador? Um, I think it is around three dollars. Um, five dollars. Three or five. All right. It's between three or five dollars. Okay. All right. Do we have a different opinion? What do you uh, think, em two, What do you think, Emerson? Two, <laughs> two or five dollars, but it depends if the. Well, for example, if you're buying, a, I don't know, a cell phone, mm -hmm. that the price of the cell phone ex ex exceeds from $200, I think, mm -hmm. you have to pay the 13% of tax. Okay, I understand. 13 or, or 30? Uh, 13. Okay, okay. All right. I understand that now. Okay, very good. Yeah, it depends. It depends on what kind of thing you order. Uh, because sometimes some companies they take advantage of it, or they take advantage of people and they charge them eight or ten dollars to deliver things at a specific place. Yes, especially when they take when they take it to your house or directly to your house, it might they might charge you more money. Yes, and also if it is not like a how can I say this? Uh, well, if it is an informal, an informal uh, store, they might charge you even more money. Yes. Okay. So the average cost is between three dollars, three or five dollars, right? That's the average cost. Of delivery or shipping in El Salvador. Well, I mean around the country, over here in El Salvador. Yes. If we start talking about different countries or international things, delivery, yes, that will be more money. Yes. Yes, more money. All right. Very good. Thank you for answering the questions and participating right there. Let's see. Alan is reporting some issues, some questions, sorry. It says, Alan is reporting some questions a customer who's visiting their website is asking. Read the conversation to find out the answer Maria suggests. Take turns practicing the conversation with one of your partners. Let me read the conversation between Alan and Maria. If you have any questions related to the vocabulary or expressions, you can ask me once I'm done reading. There is this customer, oh, sorry. There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. 
what would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then the same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pillows are, were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let's let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them that the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to, re to the return policy document. There you go. That's the conversation. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? No, teacher. No questions? No, no question. It's clear. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you for that. And uh, let's, let me make some clear over here with the words in bold. We got three sentences being reported. Reported speech. Reported speech right here. And reported speech, oops. And reported speech right here. This is the yes, no question, reported speech. Or re, uh, reported speech for yes, no questions. All right. Yes, look, we got the customer asked, simple past, like I said, if the shipping was for free, simple past, like I said. They asked whether the pillows were made in China, simple past, but take a look at this one. The customer asked if we have a return policy. If we have, have is not in the past. Why? Well, that's because we have two options. The correct option or the grammar option is to put it in the past form or to change it to the past form. But we also have the option to leave it in the present, to leave it like that. And it will be correct. Yes. Now, there's another thing I want to teach you over here or uh, explain to you. And it's, uh, what is this? Who are these people? The customers. I got another one. This is the other one. The customer. Mm -hmm. But take a look. How many do you see? Only one. Only one person. Exactly, right? Only one person. Good evening, Fabricio. Only one, right? So what do you think about this? They. Look. Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then the same, this same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. What do you think? I think, teacher, that he refers the, to other customers who has made the same question. Okay, maybe. But they are talking only about, about excuse me, talking about only one customer. Look. All right. Let me tell you what this is. When when we don't know the identity, well, actually the gender, the gender of the person, or when we have a unisex word, example, customer, we don't know if this customer is a woman or a man. We don't know, right? We just know it is a person buying at the store. But we don't know who, I mean, who, he, who she is or who he is. So in English, when we don't know who the person is, we refer to the person as they, even though they is plural. But this they is referring to customer. 
Yes. Only one. Yes. But I'm not going to say she, I mean, I'm not going to say she. I'm not going to say he because I don't know who the person is. It just says customer over here. But we don't know if the person is a woman or a man. So that's why we're using they over here. Yes. Let me help you out with another example to, to understand it better. Let me see. Let me get some space over here. Up here. I got some space. Uh, look. Someone, someone told me they are coming to the store today. Okay, over here, we have another example. Another example. Yes, in this one, it, it can mean two different things. Okay, but let me tell you this in Spanish. Alguien me dijo que iba a venir ahora. Alguien me dijo que iba a venir ahora. Sí, alguien me dijo que iba a venir ahora. Somebody told me. I'm, I'm not going to say she or he, like I said. Because I said alguien in Spanish. So I don't know who you are talking about. It might be a man or a woman. Somebody told me they... All right, they to refer to this man or woman, they are coming to the store today. So that's how it is. Yes, that's how it is. Do you understand it? Teacher, in the example, uh, could it be somebody rather they? Yes, yes. Someone, somebody told me. Yes, no problem. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's start with the practice. I want to hear you guys practice the conversation for a few minutes to practice the reading and also listening. Okay. Do I have some volunteers? Me, teacher. Let me try. I need to practice a lot. Okay. Luis Fabricio and, uh, and Emerson. Thank you, guys. Emerson, you're Alan and, oh, okay. Luis, and Fabricio okay. and Maria. Okay, um, okay. There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorated pilots, pillows. What will the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if, if the shipping was for free. And then the same person posts a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or, or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost. Cost. And tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to the return policy document. Okay, switch roles, please. Okay. There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillow. Well, what would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then the same person posed a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to return the policy document. Okay, excellent. Thank you both for reading, for participating. Let me see, let me choose two more people. Well, let me have two more volunteers, guys. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. All right, who are they? We got Stephanie and... Uh... Me. Again, Diego, yes. Thank you. It says here I have to go out for a couple of... Uh... Who is this person? Rafael. Okay, Rafael, go ahead. Stephanie, you are... Well, Diego is Alan and Stephanie is Maria. Maria, Stephanie, go. Okay. 
There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then the same person post, posted a different question. They asked uh, whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to the term to the return policy document. All right, switch roles, please. Thank you. Okay. There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. What will the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free and then this same person posted a different question. They ask whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asks if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost. And, that, and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to the return policy document. All right, all right, yes. Very good, very good. Thank you, Stephanie and Diego, for participating. Hey, now, that, now that I read this, uh, I just remember that a, a person, somebody told me a long time ago that English was kind of easy, that most of the words, uh, they are pronounced the same. And I told this person, no, you are wrong. Not all the words are, are pronounced uh, the same or or they follow a certain pattern. I don't know, but sometimes our English is weird with some words. For example, let me show you. Because I was, uh, I think it was Emerson, I don't know. With the word, this one, look. If we pronounce it, we're going to say, how do you pronounce it? Pilot. Which is it is oh. pilot, right? Pilot. No, no, pilot. Pilot. But why it's why not... do we why do we say pillow? <laughs> why do we say pillow over here in this context? Well, I said we... pillow because I I don't know. I guess it's that's the correct thing, pillow, but I don't know. <laughs> no, yes, me too. One... The person, the person that flies airplanes, that person is called pilot. Pilot. And the thing that we use to sleep or to support or to put our uh, our head on, that's what we call pillow. So listen to the pronunciation mm. difference. Pilot, pillow. But why is not pilots? Pilots and pillow. It's a, uh, it's very confusing. So I was telling this person that. English is confusing, very, very confusing, because not all the words, even though they begin or they have the same, almost the same words or the same pattern, they have a pronunciation difference. Let me give you another example. This one, uh, I forgot this one. I forgot, I just forgot it. Oh, this one. You know what this is? You know what the first one is? Yeah, yes. Thread, right? Thread. Yes. Is what, what we make uh, these things of. We use thread to make them. So listen to the pronunciation. It's, it, it's thread. Thread. If we go down, the, down here and we have the verb, the verb, the verb is not read. Well, depending on the context, the verb is read. So why isn't the first word pronounced as three? Weird, right? Very, very weird. Very weird. It's very, very confusing. Very confusing. 
Look at this. We got the word wine, which is the drink, wine, and we got the word magazine. English is confusing, yes. <laughs> we are right. Okay, let's continue. Let me see. Uh, I got Emerson, Stephanie, Diego, and uh, Luis Mauricio. We're missing uh, McDill, we're missing Julissa, Katia, Eric, Mauricio, Marilyn, and Rafael. Guys, who's next? Or who are the next ones? Make sure. Okay. Magdiel and Marilyn. All right. Marilyn, you are well, Magdiel is Alan and Marilyn is Maria. Okay. Okay. There is this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decor the decorative pillows. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked, asked if the shipping was for free, and then the, the same person posed a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillow were made in China and please post a link in the comments to the return policy document. Thank you. Switch roles. Okay. There is this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asks, asks uh, if the shipping was for free. And then this same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pillow were made in China of America. And finally, the customer asked if, if we have return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost. Oh, yeah. Tell them the pillows were made in China and please post a link in the comments to the Turner Police document. Okay. Thank you, Marilyn and Magdiel, for reading and participating. Let's continue. We still have Eric, Mauricio, Tatia, Rafael, and uh, Julissa. I can't okay, Mauricio, you. Mauricio is there, and Katia. All right, Mauricio and Katia. Mauricio, you start. Okay. And Katia is Maria. There is this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the the creative pillow. What will the customers like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if he shipping was for free. And and then this, this same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pilot were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if they ha if we have return a return police. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost, and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to the return policy document. Sweet rolls, thank you. Okay, there's. There is this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. What will the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free and then this same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were made in China and please post a link in the comments to return police document. Okay, 
Okay, thank you both, Katia and Mauricio, for your participation. Let's see if we have uh, two more participants. We're missing Julissa, Rafael, Eric. Are you guys available for particip participation? For sure, I want to try. Okay, Eric is on. Me. Okay, Julissa, thank you, Julissa, excellent. Thank you. Okay, Julissa, you start. There are these customers in the only store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillow. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then the same person posted a different question. They asked where the pillows were meant in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return, return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillow were made in China and please post a link in the customers to return, pol return policy document. All right, switch roles. For sure. There's these customers in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. What will the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then this same person posed a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has on extra costs. And tell them the pillows we're made in China and please post a link in the comments to return police document. Okay, thank you, Eric and Yulisa for your participation. And thank, thank you, you everyone for doing that too. So now that we're done with the conversation, we're going to go down here to part number three, and we're going to work on part number three. It says there, uh, read the conversation again and rewrite the questions as shown in the conversation. Guys, we have we have the answers up there. So what what, what we're going to do is this. We're going to rewrite what we have up there in the conversation. Is the shipping for free? Are the pillows made in China or America? And do you have a return policy? Okay, people, let's rewrite them over there on your books. I will give you one or two minutes. I need to get some water. Hold Okay, do you have the first one? Teacher, rewrite the same question or rewrite the, the answer? You're going to rewrite, not the same question. You're going to read the conversation again and you're going to find the same three things but being reported. Over here, you have the direct speech and up in the conversation above, you're going to find the same sentences, but 
using or being being repooled. So in that case, the the first one is uh, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. Exactly, exactly. You're right. The customer mm. asked if the shipping was for free. There you go. The customer asked if the shipping was for free. Yes. That is number one. What about the other one? It's also in the conversation above. If you read again, you're going to find it there. Going to find it there. So number two, guys. Teacher, the number two, uh, it's, they asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. There you go. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. Yes, thank you, thank you. That is the the second one. And uh, let's hit the last one. Do they have, sorry, do you have a, re a return policy? And the customer? The customer, yes. Wanted to know? Yes. If mm -hmm. we have, we have, sorry, we have. Let's say had. If we had. A return policy. Okay, the customer wanted to know if we had a return policy. And those are the answers to the three questions or to the three exercises. All right, now let's continue and let me show you what we will be working on. Okay, let me see, share it with you guys. Teacher, in the platform, I don't know what is the correct answer because I'm grading a lot of possibilities to answer, but anyone is okay. Which one, which exercise? It's the second part of 2.2. .2. Okay, I can check it out later on. Yes. yes. Okay. You can check it out later on. Yes. Okay. People, we are going to continue practicing report speech. Remember, we began with report speech in the affirmative form. Then we practiced report speech with imperatives and negative imperatives. Then we continued dealing with report speech with just no questions. Well, today we have, we still have report speech, but this time it is with information questions or with WH questions. All right. Yes, you know, WH questions, what, what time, where, when, which, what kind of, who, whose, how, how many, how often, etc. We have many WH questions. And also we can take into account the how questions. How questions. Take a look at this. Remember, when reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often shifts back. Report information questions using ask, inquire, and want to know. Do you remember what inquire is? I told you what this is. Do you remember? No, you don't? Ask. Okay, inquire is the same as ask. It's a synonym for the verb ask. 
All right? That is inquire. But if you don't believe me, let's go check it out. It has some uh, meanings that we can practice or study. Yes. Look at this. Inquire. Oops. It's there. Let me see, but not Spanish, bro. Oh, actually, you got it there, right? Look. Okay. It's a very formal way to say ask. Look at this. Formal ask is the same thing. Yes. Yes. So that's what it is. All right. So it's pretty much a synonym of the verb ask. And it is a regular verb. That means the past form is using ed. Or we are going to use ed in the past form. Ask, inquire, want to know, plus wh word, you know, what, where, what kind of, etc. Plus a clause. Sentence word order. Remember, the clause contains a subject, maybe an auxiliary, and a verb and a complement. In these cases, we only have the subject, the verb, and the complement. Well, except with the past perfect, we have the auxiliary had. So that's why I was telling you that we use an auxiliary sometimes. Yes. And we have the, th the same three tenses. Simple present that changes to simple past, simple past that changes to past perfect, and will that changes to would. The same thing. We have an examples over here. Let's see, let's read them, and then I'm going to give you some examples of my own. Yes. Let me see. Mauricio, Edgardo, you read the customer, and Fabricio, you read the reported. In the first one, the first one. Hello. Teacher, before that, I have a question. Okay, what is your question? Why is that? Why is that in the textbook, uh, the unit two on the uh, section four in the textbook say how to use reported speech? Yes, no questions introduced by if whether. Yes. It's not the same. Title. The same what? Sorry. Which which page are you on? We are on page twenty three. Oh, sorry. I am the, yes. I'm the that's that's the previous. 20. That's the previous one. It's this one. It's on page twenty. On page twenty, you're gonna find how to use reported questions. I mean, how to use reported speech? Yes, no questions introduced by we by by if or whether. Yes. Sorry, sorry, you're right. Yes. Thank you. Yes. In these cases, we're not using if or 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 whether. We're using different things. Okay, Mauricio, read the customer what the customer asks, and Fabricio, report what the customer said, please. Here, here. Hello. I think Mauricio is not there. Diego? Hi, teacher. Okay. You ask the question and Fabricio is going to report that. Okay. What is the correct form to do an integral? No, no, no. This one, this one, this one. Ah, sorry. What is the process to return a product? A customer asked what the process to return a product was. Okay. Take a look at this one. This one is, is a little different in comparison with the other ones. What is... Is is the verb that we're going to change in the reported sentence. What is the process to return a product? And then when you report it, you report it like this. A customer asked what the process to return a product was. Take a look. We're using what at the end. 
the end. This is for some special cases. For some special cases, we use was or we report it as that at the end. But why is this a special case? Let me show you. Let me show you. Remember, this, this is the question. This is the question. What is the process to return a product? That is a question. I mean, grammatically speaking, it's a question. The second sentence, this is not a question. It's not a question. We're not asking, I mean, we're reporting. Reporting, and it's not a question. It's just a, a reported sentence. So, let's see. What if, what if we put the verb was after what, after what? What was the process? Sorry. Let me make this smaller and do it. One is not. Okay, look, what was the process to return a product? It becomes Over. in a question. Sorry? That way, uh, the sentence uh, becomes in a question. No. Exactly. If we, if, we put, if we put the auxiliary or the verb in the past form, was in this case, if we put it right after the, the WH word, what? it becomes a question. So it is not possible. It is not possible to report a question as a question. It is not correct. Let's use it the other way around. Let's say, what, ask what the process was to return And over here, this word order, this syntax is not correct. This syntax is not correct. Syntax is word order, the order of the words in English. This syntax is not correct. What the process was to return a product doesn't make any sense. It is not grammatically correct. That's why we're using it at the end of the sentence, all right? Yes. Now, let's continue with the other one. Let me see. Uh, Katya, you read the question and Eric, you're going to report that question. In simple present. This one. Okay. When do you expect the package to arrive? A customer asked, when we expected the package to arrive. 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 Uh, Sorry. Yes. Again, All right. A customer question... asked. Oh, oh. Okay. A customer asked when we expected the package to arrive. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you both. The question is what do you? Sorry. When do you expect? The package to arrive. When you report it, or you report it like this, a customer asked when we expected the package to arrive. What are we changing here? We are changing this. All right. And we change the subject, of course, because we're talking about you in the plural form. Yes. That's what we change. Let me continue reading the other ones because time we have limited time. We need to continue with uh, with my examples. Simple past when uh, somebody asks or says something in the simple past or using simple past. When we report it, we're going to do that in the past participle. Sorry, past participle form of the verb, and the structure has to be past perfect. Example, customer. When did you ship my order? A customer asked when we had sent his order or when we had shipped his order. 
Which items did you pick from the catalog? The sales agent asked which items I had picked from the catalog. And you know, will changes to would. When will my package arrive? The client asked when the package would arrive. And the last one, what will this what will be the subtotal of my purchase? A customer asked what the subtotal would be for his purchase. But let me show you my, my examples to understand this better or easier because uh, I separated it. Separated them. All right. Can you see the examples? Can you see the presentation? For sure. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. To report information questions, as I, as I told you before, to report yes, no question, I mean, reported uh, WH questions, we use the following reporting verbs ask, inquire, or want to know, plus WH word or clause. And over here next to it, I have all the WH words that we can think of. What, what time, where, when, which, who, why, whose, how, how plus adjectives and how plus adverbs, how many and how much. First example is this one, take a look. My friend, what is she worried about? What is she worried about? My friend wanted to know, <clears throat> excuse me, my friend wanted to know what she was worried about. My friend wanted to know what she was worried about. What if we used was at the end of the reported sentence? It would go like this. My friend wanted to know what she worried about was. Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So. This is the correct word order, what she was worried about, right? As you can see, what we change here, what we change here is the verb be. The verb be is goes to the verb be past form was in this case, all right? You see it. Another example, how much is the station? The CEO asks, how much is the stationery? Report speech. The CEO inquired how much the stationery was. If I said how much was the stationery, it becomes a question. Yes, it becomes a question. So the CEO inquired how much the stationery was. So when we use was at the at the end of the sentence. We have to uh, understand what the context is. Yes, we have to understand it. And we have to make it uh, have logic, yes. My teacher, what time do you practice English? What time do you practice English? My teacher asked me what time I practiced English. My teacher asked me what time I practiced English, right? Practice, practiced. Well, ask is down here. Ask is the past form. Now, that was simple present changing to simple past. Now, let's see. Simple past changing to past perfect. The manager, why did you go to the workshop? Why did you go to the workshop? We're going to include the auxiliary have and the verb has to go in the past participle form. In this case, go changes to gone. The manager wanted to know why I had gone to the workshop. The manager wanted to know why I had gone to the workshop. Which Samsung branch did you visit? 
Which Samsung branch did you visit? Guys, do you know what branch is? What is branch? What is branch? I guess like a like a sorry, I forget the I forget the, the word. Give me like a store. Which one, Mauricio? Like a store. Yes, like a store. It's like a store, yes. It's like a store. It's like a store. In Spanish will be or the, the best word to say in Spanish is subversal. Yes. So report a sentence. My mother inquired which Samsung branch I had visited. My mother inquired which Samsung branch I had visited. That's how it goes. Simple past changes to past perfect. One more example. How was the presentation? How was the presentation? My friend asked how the presentation had been. My friend asked how the presentation had been. Was the past participle form is been. Yes. Now, will change into would. First example, the employees, you guys, all of you. <laughs> When will we take some days off? When will we take some days off? Report a sentence. The employees wanted to know when they would take some days off. Yes? That's how it goes. Remember, will changes to would. One more example. The secretary, whose computer will you upgrade? Whose computer will you upgrade? Guys, what is what is whose? What is whose? What is? I'm sorry? Dennis. Mm. No. Qual? No. No. What is? No. <laughs> I, I think that a computer who she doesn't know which person belongs. No. No. Well, yes, yes. Well, but it's not that. That's not what it means. Okay. Uh, the question whose whose is a very complicated question because of the context. Uh, whose is the question that we use to ask for possession. In Spanish, well, no, not in Spanish. The word whose means of who. Do you get it? Of who. What is that? Of who. Let me see my house. There you go. Go to the chat. You can see the information in the chat. Whose computer? For you to understand what it is. Okay, so whose computer will you upgrade? Report a sentence. The secretary inquired whose computer the technician would upgrade. Because we don't know who, who you is, so I, I chose the technician, right? Whose computer the technician would upgrade? Yes. Do you have any questions, people?
in that example, the it uh, is valid to use inquire or ask, right? Yes. yes. Why not to know as well? You can okay. use you can use the three of them: ask, inquire, or want to know. Okay. All right. More example. More, more, more questions. More example. More questions. No. Okay. We have an activity. Ten examples. Work on the following exercises below. Let me read the questions. In a way, you will see how they go. What will you read? What will you read on the bus? How did you get in touch? Who did you get in touch with? How is your mother? How many staplers did the company get? How great does the reception look? Which car do you drive to work? Where will the meeting take place? Why did the supervisor talk to you? How much unemployment is there in your country? And whose house will you rent? Guys, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to see how you guys do these ones. I will give I will give you some time to practice. Over here we have the three tenses. We have simple present, we have simple past, and we have will. All right. You already know what to do. Remember, simple present changes to simple past. Simple past changes to past from uh, past perfect, and will changes to would. All right. Let me set the time. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, probably six, five or six minutes. Yes. Let's begin with the minutes right now. Let's go. Oops. No. 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 What? Here we go. There you go. Time's up. Time's on. Time's on. Go, guys. Go. Go. Six minutes.
Time's up. Number one, what will you read on the bus? How do you report it? They wanted to know what would I read on the bus. They wanted to know what would no what mm -hmm. yes but what would no uh probably he asked me what I had read on the bus. No. Okay, he asked me what I would read on the bus. Uh -huh. What I would read on the bus. Remember, it is not a question. If I say would, if I use would at the beginning and then I, that's a question. It becomes a question. So the subject has to be right after the WH word. In this case, what? What I would. All right. They okay. wanted to know. Yes. They wanted to know what I would read on the bus. Second question. Who did you get in touch with? Who did you get in touch with? He wanted to know. Okay, they wanted or he to asked know. me. Let's use ask. Yes, ask. Mm -hmm. Who? Mm -hmm. uh, we use me or only who? That's okay. okay. They ask who I mm -hmm. got. Mm -hmm. It's gotten. I got it. I have but no. We need the auxiliary. Did? No. Had. Had, exactly. Had. Uh, ah, yes, had. They asked got. who I had gotten. Okay. In touch with. Yeah, there you go. They asked who I had gotten in touch with. Number three, how is your mother? Sorry, teacher. Uh, one question. Yes. When I can know what word do you use? Ask, inquire, what to know? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you want to use ask, if you want to use inquire or wanted to know, that is up to you. Okay. So number three.
They wanted to know how my mother was. They wanted to know how my mother was. Yes, exactly. They wanted to know how my mother was. Very good, very good. Number four. How many staplers did the company get? It's not working right now. So, guys, they they inquire. Mm -hmm. Yes. How how many stoppers? Yes. Does the company get? No. Look at this. It, it is simple past. How many staplers did the company get? Oh. Remember, simple past changes to past perfect. So how many staplers? No. <laughs> the company had gotten. The company had gotten. They inquired how many staplers the company had gotten. How great does the reception look? How great does the reception look? Tell me, tell me. They wanted to know, they wanted to, they wanted to know how great looked the reception. Or the reception looked. The reception. Yes. They wanted to know how great the reception looked. Number five, sorry, six. Which car do you drive to work? So I cannot really write. Why? Which car do you drive to work, guys? He wanted to know, okay, or they wanted I... to know. No, we can say he, no problem. He wanted to know which car. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Which car do I drive to work? No. I do too. No. You don't use it. Have driven? I, I I drive to work. Drive to work. Drove to work. Drove. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 
He wanted to know which car I drove for. Remember, simple present changes to simple past. All right? That's how it is. That's how it is. Number seven. Where will the meeting take place? They wanted to know. They asked. They wanted to know. Ah, so they just asked one yeah. and one and one too much and one. They asked. They asked. Yes. Where? Where? Uh huh. The meeting would take place. Yes. They asked where the meeting would take place. Correct. Eight. Why did the supervisor talk to you? Why did the supervisor talk to you? Tell me, tell me. They want, uh, or they inquired uh, why the supervisor talked to me. Why the supervisor talked to me? Okay, there is something missing. We are missing a word. We're missing a word. Has? Had. Yes. They inquired why the supervisor had talked to me. Remember, simple past changes to past perfect. In past perfect, we use the auxiliary had plus the verb in the past participle form. Number nine, how much Unemployment is there in your country. This one is challenging. How much unemployment is there in your country? They ask, ask. Yes. How much? Yes. Employment Unemployment Unemployment, sorry. Yes. There in my country was There in my country was. All right. It's it is almost correct. It would go like this. I mean correctly. They asked how much unemployment there was in my country. That's how it is. There was. There was is not a question. And the last one. Whose house will you rent? Whose house will you rent? They inquire. Yes. Whose house I would rent? Exactly. They inquired whose house I would rent. They inquired whose house I would 
friends. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for that. People, do you have any questions? I think simple past and past perfect are giving you some problems. What do you think about this? <laughs> Tell me. So difficult. It's okay. All right, it's fine, think, it's fine. I think we need more practice the past perfect. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Yes, that's what I said. The simple past and the past perfect are giving you some issues. Yeah, so you need, to, you, need to, you need to concentrate on that or focus on that. Practice it more, more, uh, more than the other ones. Yes, that's what you need to do. All right. We're going to continue and uh, we have some reading to do. Look at this. Five pitfalls of online shopping. Five pitfalls of online shopping. We have uh, 10 minutes. We're going to do some brainstorming and we're going to leave the reading uh, activity for tomorrow. And let's do some brainstorming about some pitfalls. What pitfalls can you mention, guys? What pitfalls can you mention? What pitfalls can you mention? What does it mean pitfalls? Pitfall is a problem. A problem, an inconvenience. Problem or inconvenience. Yes. Five problems hmm. of online shopping or five issues of online shopping. One could be the product could be not the same as the picture is shown. Okay. The product is different in comparison with the pictures on the web page, right? Okay, that is one. Another one. Let's think of more. Maybe teachers, the time uh, you will receive the package. The time you will receive the package or the product. The time you will receive the package. Okay, that's another problem. All right, what else? What else? Maybe high cost of shipping. Excuse me? High cost of shipping? High sometimes. <laughs> cost of shipping. shipping. All right. All right. What else? Uh, the package could be damaged uh, on the on the delivery on the shipping the damage could get the damage <laughs> the package could get when ship being when shipped all right the the package could get damaged when shipped or yeah, what else? What else? What else? Uh, they show some uh, some things, and we and when we ask 
for it, uh, they don't they don't have don't, don't have it. They, saw, they, show, they show another. Things. Okay, they show some things and they're they're not even in stock. Okay, what else? Sure. What else, people? Can you think of more examples? It says five, five pixels over here, but these ones are, are referring to the reading that we we're supposed to have look one two three four five well probably uh, the, the time to respond when i request some special product or or some or, or we have some question about the product that, that we want to buy Okay, the response time when the customers ask for the product. Yes. Okay. What else? No more? When the seller doesn't have a physical store. When? The seller doesn't have a physical store. When the what, sorry? When the seller doesn't have a physical store. Okay, when the seller doesn't have a brick and mortar store. What else? Okay, if you guys don't have more ideas about issues, that's okay. We can continue thinking about this tomorrow or brainstorming about this tomorrow. Yes, because we do not have a lot of time left. We just have a couple of minutes. So we can continue discussing this tomorrow. Not a problem. All right. Do you have any final questions? It's okay for the moment. It's okay. All right. Remember, you just have to continue practicing. Practice makes perfection. If you want to polish this, you got to practice a lot. All right? Let me take attendance, and after that, we will be dismissed. Diego Josue Benitez. Yeah. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present. Yulisa Milet Villalta Villalta. Present. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Magdiel Esau Garcia Morales. Present. 
Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Uh, Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present teacher. Yes. Mauricio Delgado Soriano Martín. Martín Ramírez, sorry. I'm here. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. People and time's up. Time's up. Thank you guys for being here today. It has been a pleasure. I will see you tomorrow. All right. Take care. Have a good night. And uh, well, uh, I think uh, Fabricio and I don't know who else are going to stay because they have questions of uh, Emerson, I think. Yes, yes, teacher. teacher. I, have, I have questions. Okay, you can stay, no problem. With the, the platform. Yes, yes. We have plenty of time. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. Guys, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you guys for showing up today and uh, take care. Have a good night. All right. Be safe. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Teacher, in my case, I I used the definitions that you gave us in the class and in the platform says that is incorrect. Okay. For Which example, exercise is that, Diego? Okay, uh, the two point two, I didn't finished because uh, I I can't do that. Point to this especially, one. Especially the 2.2 in the part of in the can last part. Can you share, Diego? Uh, yes, sure. Give, yes, give me a moment. It's the same case that. with me, teacher. Okay. All right, better, better. <laughs> same here. Or the same exercise. Yeah, well, in my case, the, the two, let me see, 2.2. Two. Uh -huh. the, the last one I have wrong. And then the the other part that convert the direct yes, no questions to indirect speech statement. Okay. All right, we're going to see that too. All right. I don't know. Uh, I got that one in the the computer. May I going to switch now from the cell phone to the to the, to the laptop? All right. Okay. I don't have Zoom in my computer, teacher. Sorry. All right. All oh, right. Just give me a moment. Teacher, uh, yes. In my case, in the section uh, two, uh, I don't know if it's uh, if it is point or dot or period. Something. What's the word? <laughs> right word. Yes, we don't know. Two point five. <laughs> <laughs> um. See we see that, that that terms reliable seller, fake review, ratings, guarantee, faulty, skeptical. skeptical and yes. We all agree that the, in that moment, but in the answers, 
in the platform um, the definitions uh, como se dice las pone mal las califica mal mm -hmm. yes it gets it gets them wrong yes it gets them wrong it okay let's see what's wrong. up let's see what's going on with this ones so over here is it says read the following commands and type them using report speech is the verbs in the brackets he said exercise regularly okay he told me he told me exer of oh, sorry to X stuff. That's it. Así lo colocaron. No. Yes. 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 That. Uh... Was correct. Uh, the other one, the number two, the second. I uh, no, no, no. write. Which person did you use? Don't turn off the lights. He. But I don't have a In my case, here. he. He. In my case, I use he. He ordered. Order me to. Don't turn off the lights. He ordered me not to. Not to turn off the ah, lights. Ah, not to turn off. Let me see. Well, actually, I can show you the answer real quick. <laughs> no problem. Look at this. We got the answers. He told me to exercise regularly. All right. Well, he ordered, not me. He ordered not to turn out the lights. The sign, it says the sign requests not to drink and drive. Well, uh, I don't know if it takes simple pass over here. The sign requested. Right? Maybe, maybe not. I, I had requests. With S. Requests. Uh, not requests. Requests. This one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, also correct. Yes. She said, keep quiet. Instruct. She instructed me to keep quiet. Keep quiet. Okay. Yes. Look, she, I mean, he told her, go and lie down. He told her, go and lie down. Yeah, I got the period missing. Why the verb is, is... He told her to go and lie down. The number five. The okay, verb is... Uh, listen, listen to this. He listen told to her... This. Listen to this. Uh, let me explain this to you in Spanish. Número 5. Dice, ella le dijo, ve y... ¿Qué es lie down in Spanish, man? Arrecuéstate, algo así. Como arrecuéstate, descansa, lie down. Ahora, para reportar eso, se reportaría de esta forma, miren. He called uh, uh, her, right, to go and lie down. Pero aquí hay una diferencia enorme, enorme con esa palabra tú que aparece aquí al principio que coloqué acá. Yo, por eso yo no, no, no está la respuesta, miren. Ahí dice una respuesta, he told her go and lie down. Si yo digo, o si yo reporto, he told her to go and lie down, cuando digo to go, es que se vaya. Él le dijo que se fuera, que se fuera. No le dijo ve y arrecuéstate. Lo que le dijo andate y te arrecuestas. Like, there's a big difference with the preposition right there. To go. 
he told her to go, dijo que se fuera y se durmiera, o sea, acostara. Y no, no le dijo, ve, ve y acuéstate, como acá en la cama o en la maca, right? Different thing here. That's why, that's why we don't have two over here. Yes. En la respuesta no está el two. Por esa razón. Teacher, even in, uh, with that answer, you... Uh... Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Have given us que nos ha dado. Uh -huh. You have given us. You have given us uh, in the platform. In my case, it's wrong. Impossible. Can you share? Puede compartirlo. Uh, remember yes, that you have to use the 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 dots. Poquito. Yes, I use. And the the block Here minus. It el two, it el two. He told her, ah, go and lie down. El me no va en la segunda. Eso que the term uh, he ordered me, no me no, not me. The, the other one, the sign, la señal, va en mayúscula, la T. Y no es sign con, con ED, sin ED. Oh, it's true. Sin ED. Singular uh, S. Yes, yes, yes. And requests Requesting with S. Me. Requests. Me, not to. So, so, solo con ese. No lleva E. Y quite remove me. Request not to drink and drive. Yes, falta la S, request. Could you show the last two, please? Y el punto? The last ones. Yes. No. Sign requests. The, sign uh, requests. the space. Some space. I see. See, yes, that one is very It's very complicated. Let's see the last ones. Yeah. He ordered. No, está mala esa arriba. Not two. Yes. Not two. Sure enough. The lights. Yes. Yes. Uh, then we have my neighbor. My neighbor, David, asked me, will you live with your family? My neighbor asked me if. Uh -huh, if. I lived. lived, lived. My family. Yes. Can I talk to you for a minute? Still incorrect. My date, neighbor. Maybe the period. My neighbor. Ask me. I lived with my family. It is correct. What's maybe, incorrect? Maybe wanted to know. But I show you, I show you those ones, right? Remove me. No. Nope. Dealing to my neighbor one. 
Maybe you try. He asked me if I lived with my family. Try that one. He asked me. He yeah, asked me if I lived. Yeah. He asked me if I live lived with my, with family. my family. Yeah. Right. Okay. Can I talk to you for a minute? You wanted to know whether he will talk to me for a minute. No. Can go to could. No would, could. La W quite, ponga la C. Y whether lleva una H en medio. For the B? Yeah. Right there. He should take it, but no, no, no. Acepta así, tiene que ser así. Creo que si he asked también. He asked me. Yes. If he could. Uh -huh. If quítale, quítale el weather, entonces. If he could talk for me for a minute. Talk in present or talking talked in past. Talk. Talked. Talk to you. Talk to you. Let me see. No, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Está bien no. Talk to me. Yeah, talk to me. Okay. For a minute, right? Yeah. Do you speak English? Spanish, sorry. He asked. Me. If. If. I. Spoke, spoke Spanish. Spoke Spanish. La S mayúscula. Try it. Try it out. Is that your okay. cat? En la que está abajo aparece, aparece continuo, no es pasado. I mean, it is not present. But, okay, number four. Is that your cat? The same me. person, he. Yeah. Yes. He asked me if that if... was. Exactly. My cat. Mm -hmm. My cat. Social. Tengo que practicar muchísimo, eh. Asked. He asked me if I was. Listening, listening to him. To him. Mm -hmm. okay. Gracias, compañero. We got it, we got it. Teacher, with the 2.5, this one. I don't know why. Yes, for example, uh -huh. uh, this, the, what's the first for you? Reliable seller. Uh -huh. Okay, this is this is okay. But, but fake review, I, I remember that in the class, the teacher said that it's a it's positive or negative. It's not easily convincing having doubts or reservations. That's skeptical. Yes, but, but if you but if the you platform, it, uh huh, it it sets that that's, that's all right. the correct yes that's the correct answer. And it Which is not. No, you told us. Fake review is yes, this fake. one. 
Es la, la wow. cuarta. Positive and negative feedback about a product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. Es yes, but if, if you, if you put I answer that, uh -huh. it, it's bad. Know, it's wrong. I don't know why. Eso respondí, <laughs> pero dijo que, que está malo. Yes. yes Esta yo probando, probando. Uh, on each one, uh, this one is. <laughs> I don't know. No sé la, la que dice la plataforma que está. Ratings. Eh, positive or negative feedback about the product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. Working badly or imperfection or not easily. That is or, fake review. Exactly. Yes, go, go down. Positive, negative, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, feedback and comments about a third party seller focus on the on uh, the buying experience. Yes. A seller you can trust from an assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled leading to a product or service. Está bien extraño eso porque no, no, las, no las acepta entonces, pero esa es la respuesta correcta. Sí, está. Y al final, o sea, no se pueden, no se pueden. Esto ni le he visto. Pero al final no se pueden hacer estas que coincidan, pues, porque... Ajá, no tiene lógica. Sí, no. si unas pegan, otras no pegan, entonces no, nunca podrían estar buenas. Imagínense, imagínense, uh, guarantee es la garantía, right? Uh -huh. Y es la última. Insurance... Dice que está mal. No, para estar correcta. <risa> <risa> Do know. you have the correct, the correct answers, teacher? Le voy a mostrar, fíjense, quiero si puedo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I verdad? think that it's, it's bad. ¿Lo pueden ver? Yes. No, yes. All right. Uh, the first one is correct. Yeah, that one is correct, right? They review. Uh, not easily convinced having doubts or reservations. That, that is not, that is a skeptical. Yes, yes. A formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled related to a product. No, that's, that's a guarantee. Uh, exactly. Okay, choose that one. The last one. Rating is la última. A guarantee feedback. No, that's not even close. Feedback and comments about a third party seller focus on the buying experience. That's not guaranteed. Faulty is it's correct. Faulty is correct. But skeptical, I don't know. Skeptical, positive or negative feedback about product or service written on Athena. Can you change uh, the, the the right answers on the platform? Sorry? Can you change the right answers on the platform? I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I can't but can I you can explain? Report. I can report it, but I cannot change them. Solo por eso que nos pongan 10. Ya el diploma. And the part number, la parte de abajo dice que es la tarea 9 es sobre la hora. Acá está. Lo de ahora. Convert direct WH questions to indirect speeches, speech statements. I, I, I did it exactly and I didn't have the correct answer. You didn't have what? The, the, the first one? I did it exactly what you have, but it says that it's incorrect. Let me share it again. Let me see. How many children do you have? Yes, my new neighbor asked me here. My new neighbor asked uh, ask me. I didn't put it. Me. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. I'm going to work on it. And do we have to do the 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 midterm? No. Yes, but don't worry. We have uh, until Monday next week. Yes. Okay. Yes. So take it easy. Take it easy.
Okay, teacher. Sure, just just yes. comment. Uh, I was watching uh, Friends, the series. Yes. And I'm I'm learning, uh, but sometimes it's it's difficult to understand to understand because they talk too too fast. Yes, you have to get used I... to it. You have to get used to it. Mm -hmm. I know they speak okay. fast, but you have to get used to it. Okay. I think that I have problems to, to say my ideas. I don't know why. I'm sorry? Where to? <laughs> I, I have problem. I have problems to, to say my ideas because I don't know what's the correct form to say that or I don't know a, a lot of words or a, a, a good that's vocabulary. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to express yourself. You should do it anyways. You should do it anyways. If you make a mistake, good. I will correct you or somebody will correct you. And that way you will not forget that you make a mistake or that you made a mistake. Yes. Don't worry about that. If you don't know how to say anything, just ask, hey, how do you say this in English? And I will help you out. Don't yeah, worry well, about we are it. Yeah, we are in the same situation. That is <laughs> yes, exactly because... my problem. I don't have a lot of problems understanding, but yes, talking. I understand. I understand that. Yeah. Oh, like I said, practice, practice. So it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to say a word. It doesn't matter if you mispronounce the word. Express yourself. Say the words. Say the sentence, and nobody will judge you. Yes. Try to practice alone. Some sometimes when I'm talking to myself, uh, uh, when I am in the shower. Uh, I speak. Uh, I speak more. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice seguro de sí mismo? I'm sorry. ¿Cómo se dice hablo más seguro o hablo más más confiado? You took better. I I speak confidently. Yes. When I when I am alone, I I fear I, I lost the fear. Me too. When I am in, in the sh taking a shower, I'm uh, talking to me in my in my head. Mm. That's good. And I say, "Wow, you can, you can." Yes, of course you can. Also, uh, you can. You, maybe you can switch your phone language to English. Yes. You gotta do a lot okay. of this in That's a good idea. Like. like Everything you do has to be related to English, you know. Like Emerson said, that's a good idea too. Yes. Some of these days I was dreaming in, in English. I I was trying to, to speak in English. Uh, estaba medio dormido, entre dormida despierta. Yes. De tanto que estoy viendo series, estoy viendo un poco de gramática, es mucha información en la cabeza y estoy tratando de tomar nada más de una y otras cosas. Same. I'm I'm watching anime in English. It's uh, bored, but it's I have to learn. All uh, right, that's good. That's good. That's good. There are many things that you can do about that. Many many things. There is plenty of material out there on the web. You can find any information, and you can find any courses, classes, videos. There's there's plenty of material. On the internet. Okay, teacher. Good night. I have to do tasks from the university. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. No, it's no. for tomorrow, and I have to do an informal document. But oh, wow. I have not. I have anything. You have but do you know? Do you know ChatGPT? Yes, I do. Don't use it's it. like God. I I have been using that all 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 year. No, don't no, use it. Create your own ideas. <laughs> no, it, but I am I am um learning. I'm learning because uh, uh, I, I I I read 
when ChatGPT uh, make an, for example, an essay for me, and I understand all the subject, you know, only two or three minutes. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Even if I was in the class. I understand that. Okay, right, thank you for your time. See you tomorrow. All right, guys. Uh, thank you. See thank you, you for Bye. staying. Thanks thank you for, for staying. Future. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Sleep well. It's ten thirty. Wow. It's ten thirty. Yeah. Have a good night. Sleep well. Don't don't stay up late. Don't watch Facebook or TikTok. Just go to bed and sleep. Okay. Because we have to rest. We are not machines. <laughs> All yeah. right. Thank you, guys. I have to work early, teacher, and for your patience. Yes, that's true. Uh, bye. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care.